Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at Alexander Fleming and his work with penicillin. As always, there's a free handout in the description below and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history based revision content. Let's get into the details. Alexander Fleming during the First World War was sent to France to study the wounds of soldiers who were dying from infection. Antiseptics were not working and thousands of soldiers were dying from wounds not because of the initial wound itself but of the subsequent infection. By the end of the war Alexander Fleming had not made a breakthrough but he returned to his lab in London to continue his research. Ten years later in 1928 Alexander Fleming made a discovery purely by chance. In 1928 Alexander Fleming had left for the summer to go on holiday and had left a series of petri dishes full of bacteria on his laboratory bench. When he returned from his holiday he noticed something strange. There was some mould growing on one of the petri dishes which had killed the bacteria. It is thought that the penicillin was being grown by a scientist in the laboratory upstairs and had somehow floated from the room above into Fleming's lab through an open window. It had fortuitously landed in the one place where Fleming would have noticed it and could do something about it. It is a classic example of the fact of chance playing a role in the development of medicine. Fleming conducted a series of investigations and experiments with the penicillin and learned that it could treat bacteria in the body without harming other cells. He would even managed to treat a fellow colleague's eye infection with penicillin which proved that it had worked. However, penicillin was taking far too long to produce and it didn't appear to work on deep wounds. In 1929 Alexander Fleming wrote about his discoveries in a medical journal and continued to work on other things. It would take the growing concern over the development of a second world war in 1938 for penicillin to develop even further and used on human beings. Join me in the next video where we'll take a look at Florian Chain and their work on mass producing penicillin and demonstrated that it worked in humans. I'll see you there.